Hi. Hi. Today we're, we're going to talk a little bit about um, one of the pumps that Shiva got. Yeah, um, a new pump I got. New pump that she got. It's, it's called the Vivison Pond Pump, nine thousand gallon per hour. Very impressed. Yeah, basically. So far, this, yeah, basically, what we did was um, we need my big my big pump in the large pond conked out finally, and I decided I wanted to upgrade because I was running a five thousand gallon per mm -hmm. hour and I was and it was doing a fairly good job. It was doing a good job, yeah. But I wanted to up, I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to you know get something that was going to circulate faster for my for my filter, and since I build all my own equipment because I'm that kind of crazy. You know, I built a type of filter where you have to suck the water up from the bottom of one section of the sump area up into this container and then all the filtering materials there and then it goes down into a waterfall. So, you know, not that complicated. Two waterfalls. Three, actually. Three, yeah, three waterfalls, yeah. You know, three waterfalls. You know, I just have two tubes connecting to... Uh, but anyway. <laughs> ...and then I've got the big one. Yeah. So I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my pump. Right. So, you can, I found this on Amazon, mm -hmm. um, they cost anywhere from $120 to $150, I got lucky and got mine on sale, so it was $119, woohoo, but they're, yeah, they're, normal, counts. Yeah, they're normal prices, like $149.99, plus right. tax, right. but I got mine on Amazon. Now, this is an off-brand, you know, we do a lot of off-brands here because we're cheap. Right, well, we're, and we're frugal. Frugal, yeah, that's Frugal, the word. frugal's a better word. Broke. Um, broke is the best yes. word. Broke is the best yes, word. because because we're all about doing things on the cheap. So and if they work, that was what our biggest yes, thing was. They if have they to work. work. Right. So that's why we decided to start doing reviews on right. some of these off brands, and some of this cheap stuff that right. we use. Right. For our right. stuff to let and you know how it's working. Right. So I um. The first mistake I made was thinking that the nozzle was going to be the same as the 500 gallon per hour one. So here I am, all ready for this thing to come in. It comes in, I go to attack, you know, first thing I do is plug in and outside, just, you know. Make sure it works. Just make sure it works. It does. Quiet as a dream. I had to, Very quiet. I had to hold, I had to put my hand Touch on it, it to, see if it to make sure it was vibrating. Yep. <laughs> it was quiet so. as a dream as it could get this Don't all women wish for that? No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to hell. Anyway, you are. Ahead. I know. Oh, God, now go we're going to talk about nozzles. Anyway. Oh, yeah, now we're going to talk about nozzles. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so after testing it, made sure it was running. It's like okay, I'm ready to hook this up to my system. I go to put the the hose on, and um, no, bad fitting condom. Terrible. It was too small. So <laughs> why did I know that was going to happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my hose was too small. So that's what she said. That was well, mine was a was an inch and a half diameter, and I found out you needed two inch diameter. Should have researched that a little better. Interior. Yeah. Where's I, Mr. Captions? <laughs> oh, oh, believe me. So here I am. And the have, funny thing is, is I'm pretty sure you told me that you checked that and that it was Yeah. Good. Yeah. I thought it Pretty was. sure she did. No, yeah. I'm like 92% sure she yeah, said. Yeah. I think there was. I checked a, to make sure that the hose was going to be the same size. Yeah. I think there was, I think there was a little mistake on the listing. <laughs> yeah. We're going to blame the listing. Bad yeah. listing. Yeah. Bad anyway, listing. go Go ahead. Anyway, so here I am. I've I've got all this stuff going on. So I'm like getting Gareth to go run to uh, Ace Hardware to pick up a small piece of hose for me so I can cobble this together. Ace right. Hardware uh, hose and a couple of uh, ring clamps just to get this thing cobbled together real quick. Mm -hmm. And once I got it set up, um, I turned it on, and oh Tell my god! Tell about your second issue. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. Now I turned it on without putting the nozzle correctly. It moves, just you know. Yeah, the you, can, you can adjust the nozzle. I thought I had it facing you know, towards the wall of the pond. I didn't realize I had it facing up. I hadn't put the uh, ring clamp on quite strong enough. So I had a geyser. It was hysterical. Serious 25 foot geyser <laughs> coming out of my pond. <laughs> Great. So I'm like killing the electric immediately, getting back in there, putting the hose back on, tightening the fuck out of that ring clamp, <laughs> and, adjusting, and adjusting the, the nozzle so it aimed towards and the... And we were uh, still concerned. Yeah, we yeah. were still concerned, so I'll talk about goth chicken in a minute. Yeah. So 
Now I've got the, the nozzle facing, you know, toward in the water down. So right. hopefully it's not going to, you know, rocket launch, but just in case. That was I another concern. It was going to that. rocket launch. But as far as how it's circulating the water, it's a dream. It is doing it a great is, job. Just be careful how you set it up. <laughs> Make yeah. sure things aim the right way. Yeah, you definitely want don't want to, whenever you're setting up any type of pump, you don't want the nozzle bit aiming upward unless it's in the center of your pond. Mine is unless not. You want, unless you want the... <laughs> yeah, if you have a fountain or something, sure. Yeah. But in my case, my sump is on an end, so I want the nozzle facing you know, out into the water. So right. if for any reason that hose unclamps, it's not going to blow all the water out of my pond. This is a common problem for ponds, by the way. So make sure that your nozzle's aimed. Yeah. Right. But anyway. But anyway, the pump. <laughs> pump does, does a great job. Yeah, the pump does a great job. Right. I actually wrote down the specs here. Uh, basically, it has a 20 foot power cord, which is great. Really great, yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten pumps and they've only had like an 8 foot cord and right. you have to use extension cords and it's just a mess. This one has a 20 foot cord. Which is great for the deep pond. Yeah, perfect for so. the deep pond. Um, the other thing, now we already talked about adjustable and we already talked about 26 foot lift, so we got all of our so yeah. specs down. Yeah, but it, it is, it really does, it, it cleared the water very well, it's cleared the water very well. Yeah, I mean. Um, so much power that it's, the filter had to be cleaned. Yeah, I've been cleaning the filter Twice. like, <laughs> so I, yeah, far. I've been cleaning the filter every other day right now, because what happened is when my pump died, I had to use a lesser pump and of for course all kinds of, for a couple days, yeah, a couple days all yeah. kinds of debris in my pond so now this thing's really you know, getting it clean and I've been having to clean my filter every other day just with all the gunk in it. Yeah, but it's really doing a great job. It was yeah, but once it's clear it's, yeah. you know, I won't have that problem yeah. anymore. I just had a pump emergency. Yeah, it was an emergency. But mm -hmm. yes, but we really like this one. Yeah. Um, we really recommend it. It was a really good yeah. one. Now so. one thing I did and because I'm paranoid and I don't trust my clamping as well. I mean, I, I clamp the hoses all the damn time, and I haven't had an issue. I mean, we've had the ones in here, you know, in the koi, indoor koi pond for years, and they haven't had an issue, but I'm still paranoid. So I did make a top area oh. for the, where under, you know, on under top the of pump. the water, on, you know, above the pump, where the pump is, yeah. just in case the hose gets loose. Yeah, just in case it doesn't spray water everywhere. Right, she, so she, I'm, I'm going to recommend that you do that as well, just because this thing is very, very powerful. Right, it is super powerful, yeah. So go ahead yeah. and tell them what you put up there. Uh, goth chicken. She put goth chicken. Goth chicken was supposed to be a Viking ship I was building, and it just didn't turn out right, so now it kind of has this... I don't know this. He looks almost like the those old mad mad cartoons with the two little the black and the white little. Oh yes, yeah, spy versus spy. He kind of yeah. looks like a plague doctor. He, yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Yeah, and yeah, um, those plague face things. Yeah. Yeah, that's what with he looks a swan like. neck and then this tail yeah, he looks that looks really like bad. A yeah, really she bad failed Viking ship one on one of them. Oh really god, bad. it was horrible. So um, his name has been Goth Chicken. He's been he's been stalking our garden. And yeah. I, he's made with a, a big plastic thing, so I just put him over it and, just added, in case. and added some plants to his back so he'd blend yeah. in. So we now have goth chicken in goth the chicken. pond. Yeah, but it looks, it goes yeah. with this house. But we really <laughs> do recommend this pump. Um, if you yeah. have any questions, comments, concerns about the pump, give us a call. Mm -hmm. or give us a call. Leave give us, us a comment. comment. <laughs> it's been a long, long, long week. Yes, it has. Um, but go ahead and leave some comments. We'd love to hear your comments. If you have a pump you really like, Mm -hmm. We'd love to hear about it and why. Yeah, um, I should mention that this brand does make does make lesser uh, pumps. Right. Yeah. This. Yeah. Not lesser pumps, but uh, not as powerful pumps. Right. You can get these in like a five thousand, a two, yeah. twenty five hundred, and like a, I think like a hundred. Yeah. So these so. this does come in in lesser various power. sizes. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I mean, you know, again, we would love to hear your comments about yeah. it if you have any. Now, real quick. Um, if you're wondering about longevity, I've bought this brand a couple times before, and I haven't had an issue. Um, the only well, the so only your time, I, yeah, yeah, the only time I really have an issue is when I have an unprotected pump and I get a lot of crap sucked into it, and right. that will kill any pump. Right. But as far as ones that I've actually put together correctly, I haven't had an uh, issue. I think yeah, like some of the ones in here are. Right. The one out this in the, that pond out there was relatively new. Yeah, just not the same brand. Not the same brand, um, but keep in mind that's a four, you know, at least 4,000 gallons of water, mm -hmm. and the pump was big enough, don't get us wrong, but it was a lot of, I mean, a lot of luck over. So we'll let you know long term if we have any issues with this, we'll eventually yeah. comment. 
But I mean, that's one of the reasons why I got this brand is because I looked yeah. at my history and saw which brands I'd gotten before and which ones I hadn't had to replace. Right. And this is the brand. So hopefully yeah. we will let you know. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.